Today's day 12 of my adventure of the East Coast. So it's like 6.30 in the morning. I knew the Outer Banks was gonna test me. I didn't know it'd start so quickly. It was like 50 degrees last night. Um, I was really cold. Uh, so hopefully it doesn't get much colder than this during the trip or I'm gonna have to buy, I don't know, some warmer clothes or something. So it's about 7.30 this morning. I'm pretty cold still. I've got a ride 28 miles total. I've already done like seven of them. Um, to catch this ferry by 10.15. There was one at 7.15, but I totally missed that one. And then the next one's not till 4.15, which means I would be stuck on, I'd be stuck on the island overnight. And I'm kind of scared that it's going to be windy and uh, pretty flat. Lots of blown sand and things like that. So I don't really want to sleep on the island tonight. But it looks great here on... I dropped my Pringles. This is really just so cool. I'm, I'm super happy I took the time and have dealt with the pain and the hardships and that took all the effort of doing this trip because I just love nature. I have about 10 miles that way to get to the ferry. Cook Island I just got off the ferry and I um, I'm really starting to feel the like being alone out here it's, it's really starting to wear me down the, just the like not having anyone to talk to or share experiences with Looking north from Ocracoke South End. They've got the sandbags exposed all along the shore. So I just pulled up for the ferry and I got on it within three minutes and we're off. I didn't even have time to take a video before. What great timing. 